Hello and welcome to this field tutorial. I'm Renaud from Amantins and today we're going to have a look at render pipelines. How you can use fill in your project, whether you're using built-in URP or HDRP or even a custom RP. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new project. I'm going to be using 2019.4.28F1 and uh, here in the hub I'm going to pick universal render pipeline and I'm going to call that uh, field URP test. All right, the uh, project has been created. I'm now in my uh, demo URP scene. And I can go to the package manager, find fill in the list of my assets, and just press import. And at some point, I'll get that uh, import pop up. I just press import again. Port is complete. You may have a bunch of uh, warnings like that. That's just, uh, you know, URP being URP. Uh, you can clear them and you'll never see them again. Uh, the next thing you will want to do is install uh, from the Unity registry. You want to install uh, CMachine, which is being used in the demo. And that's it. We've installed all we needed. We are ready to work. So. As you are probably aware, Unity introduced a few years back the concept of SRP, so scriptable render pipelines. Uh, some people love them, most people hate them. Uh, whether you like them or not, they are now likely here to stay. So Phil will work on all render pipelines, and you can absolutely import Phil in a URP or HDRP project like we just did. There are two exceptions to this rule. The first one is demos. So if you go to the field folder, you'll find uh, plenty of demo folders, um, the main one being field demos. And in that one, mm, all of the demos were creating using the built-in render pipeline. That's because uh, it simply has become impossible to provide a demo that will work in all render pipelines at once. Uh, Unity doesn't allow it, basically, and uh, you need to create materials for URP or for built-in or for HDRP. They're not compatible with each other. Um, it would technically be possible for me to duplicate all demos three times, one for standard, one for URP, one for HDRP, but that would triple the size of the asset and make maintenance, frankly, a massive pain. So that's why most demos, uh, these, are using the standard RP. It is still, arguably, uh, the best render pipeline out there. That's the one I would favor. And it's the most common denominator. You can sort of easily go from this one to URP, uh, the other way around is not as easy. And so opening any of these demos in URP or in HDRP or in your custom RP project, uh, you know, that's the result you're going to get. A lot of pink potential errors as well, because, uh, you know, why not? And that's going to be the case for most of them, except uh, a few that are using, you know, um, sprites and stuff like that. So if you are planning on using fill in a non-standard RP, uh, it might be best to create just a built-in project on the side in which you can explore the demos. Um, the other difference is post-processing. So uh, in a um, standard RP environment, you would be relying on the post-processing package uh, that Unity created, which is available on the package manager. And that's how these demos uh, do post-processing. In URP, uh, post-processing is done differently. And it's also the case in HDRP. So now we, you know, like it's getting very meta. But if you open the uh, strike URP demo, this one you can open in a URP project, um, you will see that this is using volumes, which is the new way, or at least the URP way of doing post-processing. So these, the demos, and specifically their materials and uh, shaders, and the post-processing are the only two things that are in feel relying on a certain render pipeline. Everything else you can use uh, exactly the same. So that's why you know it's not that big of a deal uh, to just create a standard RP project to explore the demos, and then you can uh, you know, reuse all of that knowledge and everything you learn in other tutorials or in the documentation, you can apply that to any type of project. It's just 
uh, certainly annoying that, that Unity doesn't offer a way to do demos that would work for everyone. Um, I understand that uh, you may want to use URP, uh, you may prefer to use HDRP or standard. You know, these are all valid choices based on your target devices and your own context. Um, it's just extremely annoying that it's just not possible to, to do demos that would please everyone at once. So this is where we are, this is 2021. Anyway, uh, this is the Strike URP demo. If you press play on it, you'll see that it is actually a mini game. If it opens, the signature URP blue, lovely. I'm uh, gonna mute the audio for now. And so it doubles as a mini game and also a tester of all the uh, URP specific feedbacks. There are not that many, as I said earlier, uh, the only difference between uh, the different RPs in terms of MM feedbacks, that's just the post-processing. So here you'll find unique ones. So the mini game, uh, the way it works, it's bowling. Uh, you have this ball that is uh, rotating left and right. And when you click, uh, no, actually you have to press space. You get these, again, signature blue the first time a new shader is called, but the second time, you know, like, gets better. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a fully working mini game. And you've got uh, scoring systems. And if I was better at my own game, I would be making strikes right now. This one should be, no, it's not, I'm really bad. Come on, I've, I've played it a lot and I'm usually way better than that. Yay, all right. Um, so on that success, I'll stop playing. And yeah, you can also interact with that list. Uh, simply clicking on the buttons uh, will let you test the different feedbacks, targeting different uh, volume slash post-processing effects, color adjustment, depth of field, PM grain, Lens distortion, motion blur. So this one, trust me, it works on that demo. Uh, it doesn't shoot that much. Panini projection, vignette, and white balance. And as usual, you know, you'll find them. So these are the feedback that are uh, used in the mini game. Now, for example, when when you throw, you know, all of that happens. So these are. Uh, fairly heavy and the, the game is mostly driven uh, by feedbacks and there's also here uh, where is it actually canvas all right uh, in the canvas you'll find a scroll rect inside the scroll rect you'll find these buttons and under each button like the channel mixer here you will find a feedback and on each of these feedbacks, you will find the um, URP feedback that um, controls the thing. So if you've seen previous tutorials, you know how to create a new MM feedback, you create a new object, you add an MM feedbacks component to it, and now you can start adding feedback, right? So the only uh, difference when it comes to URP is this. When you go to post-process here, you will find sort of the same feedbacks as you would in uh, HDRP or in standard. Some of them differ, you know, like a standard doesn't have um, Panini projection, I think. Um, maybe white balance is new. Not so sure. Anyway, uh, these are the options you get access to in URP. They will slightly differ in standard, slightly differ in HDRP. And um, so you just uh, use them like you would the normal ones. So let's say I add a white balance URP. I get to uh, tweak all these settings. And of course, because uh, it will be mentioned here, you know, we need an MM white balance shaker URP component. So that's the only difference. Um, don't add a non-URP or a HDRP 
component that would that wouldn't work. So in this case, uh, I'm doing that on my post process volume. Where I have all these overrides, and you can see that if I fold these somewhere in that long list, uh, I have a white, ba white balance shaker URP. Of course, I could remove it, add it again, white balance shaker. So if you are in URP and haven't installed other packages like HDRP or the post process volume, uh, the post process package V2, uh, you, that's the only one you will see in the list. So you, you can't really go wrong uh, with that. Like, uh, you know, if, if you go with uh, depths of field, you will necessarily only see the URP one. So it, it's, it's really just the same thing as what you'll see in the documentation for standard. Just add URP at the end and you're good to go. So uh, if I add my white balance shaker, go back to my game object, press play. And play, you can see it's doing uh, that white balance change that I asked. So a change of temperature and tint. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know about your RP. It's the same thing. Um, the demos won't work. Uh, most of them, the, the strike demo will work. I plan on making doing more if uh, the need arises. Right now, the only difference being these few post-process uh, feedbacks, I feel like it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, it, it works. Maybe doesn't require uh, duplicating everything. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to show you now uh, how the HDRP um, side of things works. All right, I imported Phil in a new HDRP project. So it looks a lot like the uh, URP uh, project from before. That's the demo scene, but this is uh, HDRP. And I'm not going to go over the whole install process. It's exactly the same thing. Uh, created a new project in HDRP, imported Phil, installed Cinemachine. Here we are. And uh, just like in Phil, there's a demo. Uh, of URP specifics, uh, you also find a demo of HDRP specifics. Uh, this one is called Falcon, heavily inspired by my uh, many rewatches of Fury Road. And the way it works is you press play, and then uh, you get a car in the desert. And when you press space, it drives across the desert and when you stop pressing space it stops so you know that's i wouldn't call that a game but it works um and just like the urp demo you'll find controls here to test the different post-processing effects or volume post-processing effects uh that are specific to hdrp they are very much the same as the ones you would find in standard or in urp but Unity having split these APIs across three different uh, code bases, you know, like uh, they have to be different, different feedbacks. So fairly, fairly simple stuff. Um, and of course, in that scene, you'll find a bunch of uh, particles and stuff. And all of that is being controlled by the drive start feedback, that's this, and the drive stop feedback, that's that. So again, and to conclude, uh, Phil will work the same on your RP, HDRP, standard RP, custom RP, whatever RP. What's important to keep in mind is that the demos are made for standard, for most of them. You'll find URP and HDRP demos as well. Everything you will find in the standard demos will also, will also apply to um, URP and HDRP. It's the same way to trigger an audio source uh, from playing. It's the same way to shake the screen. Everything is the same. Um, Unity, I think, makes it confusing. I hope uh, you'll get past that confusion and will enjoy feel in any render pipeline of your choice. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.